Vocabulary Exercise 1 Complete the definitions with these words Activist Campaign Highs and lows Ram Number 1 The space of something refers to successful and unsuccessful times 2 To space is to work in an organized way to change things 3 a or an space is a sloping surface joining two places of different levels. For a or an space is someone who tries to change things. Put the put the video thing you can use your dictionary and come back to check your answers. Okay, check the answers with me. Number one, highs and lows. Number two, campaign. Number three, ramp. Number four, activist. Awesome. Now with exercise four, discuss these questions in pairs. One, what do you think is or are the best part or parts of being a charity activist? Two, what do you think is or are the most difficult part or parts of being a charity activist? 3. Do you think charities can really make a difference and why? 4. Would you like to be a charity activist when you're older? Why or why not? I think that the best part of being a charity activist is the possibility of improving things for my community. Both the videos think of these questions. Think how can you serve your community and become a charity activist. I would like to thank my students of grade 10 who participated actively with me in the charity project that we have done in the first term. Thank you. Exercise 5. Look at the sentences A to D and answer questions from 1 to 4. So we're gonna match here the sentences with these questions. 1. Which sentences refer to people? 2. Which sentences refer to things or places? 3. Which word do we use to refer to people? For which word do we use to refer to things or places? Okay, we got here the sentences. A. Today we have a very special guest, who's a charity activist from Egypt. B. Laila, who has been an equal opportunities campaigner for almost 10 years is here to talk about trying to change the world. C. I'm from Alexandria, which is a city in the north of Egypt, but I work in Cairo now. D. When I finished studying, I got a job at charity, which helps disabled young people find jobs. So, both the video Try to answer. Okay, number one, the answer is A and B. Number two, C and D. Number three, we use who for people, we use which for things or places. Great. We're gonna study relative clause. Relative clause defining relative clause and non defining relative clause. They are two types of clauses defining 
and non-defining. So let's study the difference now. Defining relative clothes give necessary information about a person or a thing. But on the other hand, non-defining relative clothes, especially with commas, give us more information about a person or a thing. Like we can omit this information. Let's read together. Defining relative clothes give necessary information about a person or a thing. Example, Mr. Kamel is the man that or who teaches us Arabic. David Copperfield is the book that or which we read last year. So notice here, we can't omit this sentence. We can't omit it. Can we say Mr. Kamel is the man and stop? No, we can't. The next phrase is important or essential to understand the meaning of the sentence. Mr. Kamel is the man that or who. Notice the usage here of that or who. Both of you refers, refer to people. Teaches us Arabic. So we can't omit this sentence who teaches us Arabic or that teaches us Arabic. We won't understand the meaning. Mr. Kamel the man. So the next example, David Copperfield is the book. Okay, then if we stop, do you understand anything? No, you have to complete the sentence with the relative cause or in other words, defining relative cause to understand the meaning. David Copperfield is the book that or which we read last year. Note that here, the usage of that can replace a person or a thing. Okay, on the other hand, non-defining relative clauses with commas give us more information about a person or a thing. So we understand it gives more meaning, but of course we can omit it. Mr. Kamal, who teaches us Arabic, lives in Cairo. Notice here if we omitted this sentence, who teaches us Arabic. Let's read it. Mr. Kamel lives in Cairo. So, who teaches us Arabic added to the meaning. The second example. David Copperfield, which we read last year, is a, a very interesting book. Notice here the, the phrase in red, which we read last year. We can omit it and still the sentence makes sense. David Copperfield is a very interesting book. So, which we read last year added to the meaning. Note. Who refers to persons and which refers to things. That can replace who and which in the defining relative clause. Which and where refers to places. Notice the difference. That the shop where my brother works. That the shop which my brother works in. That the shop which sells ties. So notice here. In defining relative clause, we can use that to replace who or which. But in non-defining relative clause, we can't use that. Another thing to notice here, we can substitute where by using which in. That the shop, that's the shop where my brother works or that the shop which my brother works in. Here, which he works in refers to the place in which he works. That the shop which sells toys, here, which refers to the shop as a something, as a something. 